This tutorial is for the STEM Scope Science Curriculum K through 8 in Chemistry. I will walk you through how students and teachers will access their science texts as well as how teachers can edit their classes. For student access, students will start in their student portal. They'll click on the tile for student text, and then the next um, portion that they will come to are their actual texts that are online. They'll click on their science text and click on the word launch, and it will take them to their STEM scopes page where their assignments are located and their learning resources. For teachers, Starting in your portal, you can type in STEM scopes in the search bar, and this is what the tile looks like for the teachers. Um, you can right click on it and you can add this to your favorites so that it was, will always be in your tiles. Teachers need to have the STEM scopes open in order for the links to work through our lesson plans. Once you have clicked on STEM scopes, it will take you to the home page. In order to access your classes, there are two ways. Across the top, you'll see where it says students, as well as at the bottom, you'll see where it says teacher section, and you will see all of your sections that you have. If you have one class or if you have six classes, it will be listed there, but they will actually be listed by course number, not by a name specific but we can change that. So I am going to actually click on my teacher section from the home page. And then to the right here where it says edit section, I click on that. And notice here, I can then go in and change my section name. I can actually give it a specific name. I can name it period one, section one, whatever the case may be. You do not have to worry about limits on your classes. Students are already rostered uh, through SIS and will automatically put them in that grade specific area. Once you have made the modifications here that you need to, you're going to save your changes. You'll get a note at the top stating that you've done this correctly. Now, in order to make modifications for your classes, please do not go in and add students to your roster. That is something that's already set up through SIS. If for some reason after a student has entered your classroom and you do not see the student on your roster, please speak to your bookkeeper uh, to see um, what the case may be and then we can go from there. However, once students have been entered into your roster, they are not necessarily removed, been removed, so you can actually go in and remove students. So right here where it says edit roster, you'd click on that. Of course, you would have all of your students listed here. My student just happens to be student support. Come over here where it says remove. You would click on that to, to remove a student. You'll get a little note that says, you know, save changes. Yes, you want to do that and then your roster will be updated. You have to do this for each and every one of your classes. So you can actually either go back to the home tab and find your classes down at the bottom again or you can click on here where it says students and you should see all of your classes listed across there. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any uh, questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact the science department. We are here to support you. Have a great day.